And then, ano yung source? Ano yung intended audience? And probably some, some remarks. Okay? For example, I'm interested in understanding the evolution of Enche. Or Acre? Mam Acre? Acre. I'm interested in that. You just can't rely on someone. No? Kasi sinasabi niya, ito siya, ito siya, ito siya. Kasi believe me, the likelihood is, and that is done through interviews, may lapses yun. Kailangan mo ng document. Right? Magugulat ka minsan, pag tinignan mo yung mga letters, na, na doon pala yung, ay, 1963 pala, hindi pala 1964. 63, nakalagay dito, right? So, we need to have those in order for us to have authentic data. Trust in the document, okay? We will have time for the stories, the interviews. Pero we, we would want to see, sinabi ni Monsi, ito yung nasa document. Pagka may contradiction, we clarify. Hindi pwede tinanggap agad na magkaiba. Right? Kasi research. Right? Hindi. Ganun yung talaga po. Talaga eh. nag-investigate ko. Right? So, I want and we want, the team wants, that whatever it is that you could give us for the historical institutional document, all that pertains on catechetical ministry and the life of catechists in your respective jurisdiction, we need it. Now, you're going to tell me, what are the limitations? No? Ay, ay, I don't know why you don't evolve your thesis. You don't have any limitation. Okay? You don't have any limitation. What do you have there? What do you have in your newsletter? Do you produce a memo? Right? Meron ba kayong mga little reports over the number of years? No? Whether systematic or systematic, it doesn't matter. Uh, meron ka bang alam na unpublished thesis or dissertation on catechism in the Philippines? Yan. Lalo na yung nasa schools. Right? Meron ba kayong mga data? Right? Ngayon, if you see that it's voluminous, then we talk to Mother Jess about it. How are we going to get it from Mindanao? Or how are we going to get it from Manong? Diba? So, medyo, medyo pag-bulimin, bulimin mo. Pero pag hindi naman, uh, paka pwede natin i-online sa, 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 sa cloud, okay? Sa Dropbox, right? Do you get it? Parang kaya ko na ito dito. Isang tool pa lang ito. Isang tool pa lang ito. Okay, now, if you're asking me, if you're asking me, uh, how easy could this be done? It's as simple as, and believe it or not, ganito po siya. From now on, you will have a research agenda in your parish. Hindi pwede, wala ka talaga gagawa. Dapat kasama na siya sa activities. Di ba? Yun po siya. Hindi po siya pwedeng on top ng gagawin ninyo. Siyempre, kung ano po yung explain ko sa inyo, explain nyo yun sa alam na kaya. Okay? Kaya. You want to have a tip? Tip? On how to do this? This is bad because I'm using my own research to give you a giveaway tip. Okay. My specialization is sociology of youth. And I have been documenting a specific section of Filipino youth that, is, that has impacted the growth of the country. Negative. But not all negative. I'm referring to the phenomenon of Filipino standbys in the country. One of my discoveries is this. There are many types of standbys. There are those vulnerable, not so vulnerable, and, and talagang most vulnerable, right? The men, the, the least vulnerable, are those what I call as the educated standbys. The educated standbys are those volunteers that you have in the parish. Those waiting to have a child that suddenly became the parish youth leader. Tapos na siya, ganun, wala siya job, ayaw niya ng bisyo, nasa church siya. Ito yung mga lector commentators niya. Tandaan niyo, pag nagkaroon na sila ng pure job, nawawala siya sa parish kasi na wala na silang job. So there is that moment in the time of growing up in this country where religion becomes a protector from risks. So instead of going into risky behaviors of 
drinking, smoking, and drug abuse, and, 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 and premarital sex, the church be becomes a protector, protection, during 